This is Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And along with the crazy modern architecture, they have also my favorite thing, grassy trams. Hey, hey. After being bombed during the Second World War, they really went all out and rebuilt with some very amazing modern infrastructure and modern architecture. So I'm going to take you on a tour of the city. We are going to ride in transit, cycling, walking, and then we are going to give the city a human mobility score. This is Rotterdam Central Station, where you can catch all the high-speed trains to Belgium and Paris, as well as a lot of trains to Amsterdam, the airport, and the surrounding area. It's a very big station with lots of modern glass and new stores, very shiny. So it's not your typical Dutch urbanism, but it's very modern. This showcases much more of what you would find in like Manhattan and the other types of world cities and what you would think of modern cities with lots of big buildings. As you can see, the front of the train station is almost free of any car traffic. There are lots of bicycle options over there if you're from out of town for bike sharing like Donkey Bike and the others. But if you are from in town, here's a bicycle parking garage where you can rent a Ove Feet, which is the Dutch bike rental system. Aren't grassy trams the best? In addition to being so much more beautiful for the city, it also contributes to better water management and it helps reduce the noise levels around the area. There are many ways to get across the river, including bridges, boats, ferries, but a tunnel is probably not one of the ways that comes to your mind. Behind me here is the Maas River and the entrance to an underground one kilometer tunnel that gets you as a pedestrian or cyclist over to the other side. And that's one of the many ways that you can get across the city of Rotterdam. What we're gonna do now is we're going to go into the tunnel, down a flight of escalators, and take a one kilometer ride to the other side to see what it's like in there. And here we are, we made it out the other side of the tunnel and it is quite nice on this side. On the signage here, the red signs represent commuter routes to the different destinations. And then you'll notice the green sign up there. That represents the more leisure routes that you can take for a recreational ride. Let's look at a map of the recreation bike route network here. And how this map works is you go around to the various points. This is a you are here mark. You aim at the next number. So you could list out 57, 49, 40, 10, 15. Once you've had your route planned out, then all you have to do is follow the different signs and the different numbers. But what you must remember is to not lose track because if you miss one of the signs, then you're really lost. Maybe you can help me answer a question here. This bike path is clearly orange or yellow, but the standard for the Dutch bike paths are usually red. I'm not sure what's going on in Rotterdam here, but there's definitely some differences. And I think it's only on the main route to the train station. So the other way to get across the Maas River is by bridge, which is right behind me here, and it is called the Ibrasmus Bridge. On this bridge, you have all modes of transport, including trams, two lanes for automobiles, one bike lane, and a fairly generous pedestrian pathway. Phew, so we made it to the top of the bridge, but now it's time for a well-deserved break. So let's take a look at the uh, Rotterdam skyline. Now, isn't that just beautiful? This video is brought to you by the EIT Urban Mobility Academy. And if you love learning about urbanism, check out their new courses at urbanmobilitycourses.eu. Link in the description below. This is Rotterdam Black Station behind me. It is also home to some pretty weird transit-oriented development. 
first of all, you got the cube houses right there. And then if you turn the other way, you have this giant enclosed market hall thing. Show you the underground tunnels of the Dutch train stations. We're going to finally complete our trip by going from Rotterdam Black Station back to Rotterdam Centraal, where we started this trip. And now we are back at the central station of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And we are now ready to give this city a human mobility score. So for transit, I'm going to give this city a five out of five because the trams are really king here and you can see it through the street design. For cycling, a four out of five, which is a bit low for a Dutch city, but I think it has taken a hit because of all the large buildings here. It just doesn't feel very human scaled, especially if you're moving on a bike. Walking, I'm going to give it a four out of five, but there are some very fantastic fantastic neighborhoods and little canal fronts where you can stroll through plus areas of the city that have very traditional architecture it's like amazing to walk through but only in parts of it and finally bike sharing and shared mobility i'm gonna have to give it a four out of five there's some options with electric scooters electric mopeds and some donkey bike bike share but i think predominantly the easiest option is still the dutch system which is the ove feats and that gives us a total human mobility score of 17 out of 20 for the city of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Rotterdam and I hope to see you at the next city.